Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. It is an honor to be addressing an inspiring lineup of leaders to discuss an increasingly important aspect of information and communication technology, that is artificial intelligence. As we know and have been witnessing, AI is rapidly changing the world around us. It is already being used in a wide variety of industries, including agriculture, smart cities, logistics, manufacturing, education, and health amongst others. With the introduction of emerging technologies and evolving digital landscape, digital skills are of increasing importance for citizen empowerment and for driving innovation. We are pleased to know that Equals Her Digital Skills was co-founded by EY, GSMA, ITU, and W4, and it aims to design and provide access to free, gender transformative, foundational digital skills training, e-skills badges, and e-mentoring for one million women and girls by 2026. I am glad to share that the government of Pakistan, through its digital transformation drive, is investing in an inclusive digital ecosystem that envisions to improve governance and citizens' quality of life and economic well-being. The digital ecosystem is being enabled through a broad range of legislative, policy, regulatory, and operational initiatives with a focus on inclusion to help reap the full benefits of digitization for both the public as well as the businesses. I must also share that digital skills has been an area of core focus of the Honorable Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif, and for us at the Ministry of IT and Telecom. And we have been running a number of skills and capacity training initiatives. The Ministry of IT and Telecom has had a key focus on human capital development. To this end, we have rolled out a multitude of training and capacity building programs focused to develop skills and expertise in the emerging technologies. These include, for example, freelancers trainings through DigiSkills program, ICT internships, boot camps, industry academia bridge, certifications for IT professionals, technology trainings with tech MNCs, and blended virtual education. With over 90% teledensity, Pakistan was recently ranked as the second most financially attractive des destination in the world for offshore outsourcing of IT and IT-enabled services. Pakistan also ranked as the third most popular country for freelancing. Since it is related to the theme of this event, I take the opportunity to share that we are also working on our national AI policy and will soon finalize the draft through a multi-stakeholder and inclusive policy committee. The policy draft mainly revolves around these four pillars, with the first one focusing specifically on the skills building. The first one is enabling AI through awareness and readiness. The second is AI market enablement. The fourth is building a progressive and trusted environment. And the fifth is transformation and evolution. As we know, according to industry estimates, the global AI market size is expected to surpass 1.8 trillion US dollars by 2030. It is therefore high time for us to come up with more and more events like this one today. Given that Pakistan actively solicits and advocates enhanced cooperation and collaboration within the regional and global digital skills and AI ecosystem, and equals her digital skills, undoubtedly is an ideal program and platform for strengthening such cooperation in this area. Let us work together to ensure that everyone, irrespective of their gender, country of origin, or economic background, has an equal opportunity to access and use digital technologies. This will be the bedrock of our joint accountability to deliver for our citizens in all their diversity. Thank you very much.